a ride to the city here in Vienna and this is beautiful. All the buildings are just gorgeous. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. portion of the palace since a lot of the wings were added uh, as, as needed and actually in this terrace right over there is where Hitler um, proclaimed the union between Austria and the Third Reich and that beautiful terrace overlooks this park and behind these two structures um, which are not permanent uh, this is the parliament right behind over there. The parliament, if I'm not mistaken, is a parliament. It will be renovated for the next three years, so they had to build these structures for the employees, you know, to replace the areas where the employees can work. We just walked through there, and that's the part that I showed earlier. And once again, this is where a lot of the museums of Vienna are located. Look at all the beautiful architecture around me. Vienna's most famous bakery, Demo. Shamrock Palace and it's gorgeous um, they say that it resembles um, a lot of it resembles the Versailles in Paris sorry not in Paris in uh, France so let me show you what I am actually looking at we will be visiting the inside and I can take pictures so but I can take videos and pictures of the garden which I will do right now well when we get there finished visiting the palace and as soon as we got out it started pouring luckily right outside there's a really cute restaurant and we're gonna have lunch now because it is 1 p.m. so it's time to eat so of course I got to get I had to get a fun drink it's called Bellini on steel so the day actually cleared up and we made it to the Opera House which is said to be one of the most beautiful and actually the best acoustics in the entire world This is actually we're on top of the second tower which is the smallest one of the two here in this cathedral and behind me you see the beautiful mosaic roof which represents a Turkish rug. Let me show you the view is spectacular. Walking 
signals are. Now we're in Nash Market, which is an area where there's always uh, food and fruit. It's like a market, and I found this sign, the Kapul. Service is multilingual, neighbors are friends, boss is not here, fish is wild caught. And the apple strudel, strudel is actually their specialty. So we decided on sushi, and can you guys hear that? <laughs> Traditional Vietnamese music. So we are getting on a little cruise to go see the Danubio, which is Vienna's largest river. We are back at Stevensplatz. I think I'm saying it right. Stefan's Platz to try to find a place to have dinner for my B-Day! Yeah, today's my birthday and I couldn't have chosen a better place to spend it. Well, next year we'll see if I can top it. So we decided to come to Settimo Cielo, which is an Italian restaurant overlooking a beautiful view right here in Vienna. Look at this gorgeous view of the cathedral. And it's right by the bar. So after yeah. dinner, we're gonna head over here to spend the last hours of my birthday. This restaurant is amazing, by the way. I totally recommend it. We are back to Schobrum Palace um, because the first time that we came we couldn't come to the garden because it was raining and we're taking a look at it right now and now we're walking through a beautiful canopy of roses can you guys see the smell is incredible so the story is here that back there was meant to be a palace, but they decided instead to build that little, it's sort of like a greenhouse with Roman architecture. And this is part of the garden. This is just one third of the garden. There are lavender canopies back there and there's also rose canopies where I just uh, recorded for you guys. And all these cute walkways. It's more garden and there's people here this is actually free <clears throat> to come to the garden and there's people running um, and just walking around there's a lot of tours but there's a lot of locals as well and it's Sunday so I'm sure the locals are just um, walking here with their children their pets mm -hmm. 